One third of foster care caseworkers in the state of Texas left their jobs last year. This is according to a report today by the Texas Tribune. Now this comes as the Department of Family and Protective Services continues putting kids in hotels when the agency can't find them a home. The Tribune found in the 2022 fiscal year, more than one in four caseworkers had less than one year of experience. It's a focus of Sanaya Day's most recent article in the Tribune, and she is with us this afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. So you spoke with a caseworker who says, quote, I'm not sure we can write this ship. We've lost so many tenured caseworkers. It's having this trickle down effect of destruction, end quote. What reasons are these caseworkers giving you for leaving? They say they're leaving because of poor working conditions like low staffing and low pay. And on top of their regular caseloads, they're having to do overnight shifts, monitoring and caring for kids who have not yet been given placements and are sleeping in hotels. So you spent time with a caseworker named Lucy. She just wanted to be identified by her first name. Can you just walk us through her experience? It was very descriptive about what her day was as she waited to go into the hotel. Right, right. Lucy and many of the caseworkers I spoke to said physical assault, verbal attacks and property damage are common during their overnight shifts caring for kids in hotels. What is important to understand is that the children without placement are typically older teens with complex behavioral health and mental health needs. Lucy is an older woman. She is afraid for her safety when she walks into the hotel room. She knows if she's subject to a physical assault, she may not recover. She says she gets like very little sleep before these shifts because she's wrought with anxiety about what may happen. Okay, and do we know why more foster children are spending nights in unlicensed facilities like those motels, the hotels and offices? And do we know if there's a solution to get them into licensed facilities? Right, right. We've seen a spike in the number of children in the state who cannot who the state cannot find a placement for in recent years. We saw that spike starting in 2020. That's because in response to increased scrutiny from a federal lawsuit, hundreds of facilities housing foster kids shut down. We lost a thousand beds in 2021 alone. Private providers that house foster kids are also less willing to take in high needs kids because they do not want to be penalized. If those kids act out or run away. In terms of a solution, the state recognizes there is a need to find more beds, particularly in facilities that are equipped to take on kids with behavioral and mental health needs. The state agency says they are building capacity, and there actually was some legislation passed this year dedicated to supporting the mental health needs of foster kids. But for the caseworkers that I spoke to, they say they've been promising improvements in the placement crisis for three years and that the state has yet to deliver any changes. And let's get to that federal lawsuit that you mentioned. So children sleeping in hotels and offices because of placement shortages is part of that federal lawsuit against DFPS that's been going on for a while now. We've covered this. Do we know where that stands now? Yes, recently the lawyers representing the foster kids have filed to hold the state in contempt of court for how it has handled the placement crisis. The judge is expected to make a ruling on the contempt of court motion by the end of this year. For context, Texas has been held in contempt of court twice before in this very lawsuit. And from the state side, in recent months, Texas has hired private appellate lawyers, which suggests they're gearing up for a fight. We're not exactly sure what that fight will look like, so that remains to be seen. Sineha Day from the Texas Tribune, thank you so much for being with us this afternoon. Thank you.